Hey guys, it's MBSC1 again, and uh, I just want to talk about the different ways to run Dark Ray Garbodor. So, the ways that I see to run Dark Ray Garbodor are, uh, there's three ways that I see. So, the first way, and the way that I think is most interesting, is uh, the way with one or two tropical beaches. So, <clears throat> this is the most aggressive version. It runs like one or two Sableye, and then two uh, tropical beaches, and then one or two, depending on what you like. And then, um, four Darkrai, and then a 2-2 two -two Garbodor line. So um, the way this works is you just pretty much just start with Darkrai and then try to power up Darkrai's on your bench um, and beach for the first uh, one or two turns and then just kind of start uh, set up those Darkrai's and attack as fast as you can. Um, and you have the one or two Sableye so that you can get the uh, seven price trade going and just to recover resources. Uh, that's kind of the way that um, Takuya ran it, and he's the guy that made top eight at Worlds uh, last year. Um, and he's like really the first person to do really well with Dark Ride Garbodor. So there's definitely something to that way of doing the deck. Um, it's not a, it's really barely played at all now that way. Um, almost nobody runs beaches in it. They just rather run uh, a lot more Sableye, which um, is a good way to do it too. I don't know, because, uh, you know, the format's changed a lot since then. We've had two or three more sets come out since then, so uh, I don't know if it's really relevant anymore. But <clears throat> um, that is still a way to do it, and I find that it does a little bit better against uh, Blastoise and Raybor. <clears throat> um, and then there's a way that I usually run it, um, which is sort of a little more aggressive, but not super aggressive. So you uh, kind of usually let your opponent take three knockouts on your Sableye and then Night Seer for the rest of the game. Or uh, let your opponent take one knockout on one Sableye and then try to Night Spear for the rest of the game. I like doing it uh, the way where they knock out three better um, just because of um, N because I feel like you can take advantage of N a lot and um, get them down to a low hand size and make it so they dead draw a lot more often. Um, and then your opponent will get rid of a lot of his resources pretty quickly when they do it that way too, and you can just kind of uh, win <coughs> uh, pretty easily too. But um, that's also kind of the same way you win with the last way to run Dark Rider, Order, which is the way, the slow way to run it. The way that, you know, you just pow uh, do tons of damage with lasers the whole game, and then at the very end when your opponent has only one or two prizes left, then you start using Dark Rider and then Night Spear and try to basically pick up the game. So <clears throat> for a long time, I ran it the second way. And um, now I'm trying it out uh, the more slow, boring way that ends up getting a lot more ties and stuff like that. Um, and the reason I'm trying it like that is because I've noticed it does better against Frizzy and Genesect, and it does better against Blastoise and Raybor. And the reason being, um, well, more more just better against Raybor. Against Blastoise, it's about the same, it seems like. And the reason is, uh, Raybor is always discarding energy with um, Rayquaza, and they don't really want to do it to your Sableyes. So if you're just if you just send up Sableye and let it get knocked out five times or four times in one baby Aviltal, which is what I'm doing, um, then you can really get rid of a lot of their superior energy retrieval um, and end them down to low numbers, and uh, really just like. Uh, make it so they can't do much for most of the game, and when they can, they just knock out Sableyes. And uh, basically, I just try to set it up so that I can take <coughs> um, double knockouts at the end and just hope, well, not hope, but make it so that they can't really do anything. So um, I like that way better because I feel like when uh, I do the middle way, the sort of aggressive medium way, um, they end up just being able to out overpower me and... Um, I just can't really do anything about it a lot of the time. Uh, also, the third way, you get you can get catchers back, so you're a little more flexible with it. Like, you can choose the Night Spear at some point, like maybe after three of your Sableye have been knocked out, and then um, use catchers and hopefully take advantage of them and stuff like that. But if um, you flip tails and stuff, then you can revert back to the way where you Sableye more. <sighs> Excuse me. And... um. Uh, get those catchers back for later and hope they work then <laughs> because really um dark Ride garbador is a little bit luck based because of those catchers because you you really need the heads for the deck to work because if you just flip tails the whole time with catchers you're probably gonna lose um and the catchers are really important at least for me they have been um and yeah that slower way uh helps a lot against Ruzi and genesect i noticed um if you can 
because they'll set up a lot and then you'll just have 30 damage on a lot of their Pokemon and then at the end when you only have one prize left or so um, maybe you've already scrapped their G-Booster or it's already gone or they just don't have it for some reason um, then you can just <coughs> uh, start taking care of business with your Darkrise and they can't really do much about it because they've all got 170 HP so you take like a double knockout and then on the next turn maybe you knock something out and then that's pretty much the game and if you can't take a knockout on the next turn um, you know, you can just pretty much set it up where you can win. And they can only do 100 damage. And by the end of the game, where you only have one prize left, you've pre probably set up two Dark Rise by then, because you've got four Dark Patch and, you know, access to all this stuff. And you still have a fairly good amount of resources, because you've been junk hunting the whole game. Not a fairly amount, pretty much all of your resources that you need, because you've been junk hunting the whole game. So, <clears throat> um, it's... A little bit more boring, but I think it's better to run it the slow way. Um, that's the way that, you know, you've seen people do better with, and I think it's probably the better way to run it. Um, as for what Pokemon to run, your Pokemon line, uh, the way I do it is four Sableye, one Baby Aveltal, uh, three Darkrai EX, two Trubbish, and two Garbodor. And the reason I have the Baby Aveltal is so that I can set up uh, the second Darkrai on the bench, um, and also because uh, if I want them to knock out five non-EXs, then um, if I don't have my Super Rod or something, I have that uh, Yevil Tall to <coughs> help make it so that um, they take five non-EX knockouts. So, yeah, and that Yevil Tall I found to be a lot better than I thought. Um, I used to think you can just Junk Hunt for a laser and a Dark Patch, and that's essentially to tech anyway. But the thing is, you can end up attaching a Dark Claw to Yevil Tall and doing more damage like that. And then also, uh, its attack makes it so that you do the Dark Patch then. So, um, as opposed to if you Junk Hunt for a Dark Patch, your opponent can end you out of that Dark Patch that you just got. So, it's it's a little bit better to have it just happen when you attack, rather than having to use it on the next turn. Um, also, 108, 130 HP is a lot better than 70 with Sableye, so there's that too. And then its attack does 100 damage, which can help you hit those numbers that you couldn't before with Darkrai. So uh, those Pokemon with 180 HP like Lugia um, and Landorus, which are two big <coughs> problems all the time, um, you can hit those numbers by like hitting the bench for 30, and then on the next turn you do 30 with lasers, and then attach a Dark Claw, and then do 100, and that adds up to 180 exactly. So its attack doing 100 damage is really good uh, to deal with those Pokemon with 130 HP. I mean 180, excuse me. Um, yeah, the only thing I don't like is the effect of it. If you flip tails, it kind of stinks a lot because then you just have to retreat it for two um, if you have Garbodor in play or Switch, and I only run one Switch, which actually works really well. So I want to talk about that for a second. Um, one Switch, for some reason, works so well for me. I, I ran two for a little bit, and I just... I don't need two for some reason. Every time... And this isn't just me getting lucky a couple times. Every time I need that Switch, I just have it for some reason. And I think it's because... Every time I use it, I pretty much junk hunt for it on the next turn. And against a lot of decks, you don't really need the switch because you really just need it against decks that use special conditions. Um, and then against everything else, you can pretty much just uh, attack until that Pokemon gets knocked out. So I only need it really against uh, decks that run like really he heavy Yeavoltal counts and like, uh, you know, those, those Dark Rai Yeavoltal decks, they run lasers and then Mirror Match. And then Dark Ride Garbodor and some Virusian Genesect decks. But everything else doesn't run lasers. So you really don't need Switch except for those matchups. Um, the one thing I'd like to have that I don't is an escape rope. Um, I might cut a laser for an escape rope. I've got four again. Um, I did run three for a little bit. I just think four is more reliable and I like it a lot. Um, but I don't know if it's better or not. So yeah, uh, I guess that's enough talking from me. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to and leave a comment if you want to tell me something.